Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys a brand new 2021 album review. And today we're going to be talking about a band that, well, I haven't talked about much on the channel. In fact, I don't think I've talked about them at all. And it's a band that, well, a lot of people will probably give me hell for, but whatever. I act like th these guys and stuff. And as you can see below the title, today we're going to be talking about the new album from the band Chunk, no, Captain Chunk, entitled Gone Are the Good Days, which is released today through Fearless Records. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Chunk No Captain Chunk, they're a post-hardcore, easy-core pop-punk band from Paris, France that formed in 2007. Um, and I was kind of aware of Chunk No Captain Chunk back in like 2015, 2016 with the release of their previous album, Get Lost, Find Yourself. But it was kind of after that, I don't know, they just didn't click with me until recently. And then, I don't know, it, it just, I don't know, it, I... I uh, maybe I kind of wrote them off. They kind of sound like pretty much every of those kind of bands that kind of like whole warp tour world bands. But after hearing some, I was like, okay, I kind of wrote them off, and I actually like their stuff. Even then, going back to their uh, debut album called uh, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's uh, oh yeah, something for nothing. Now I remember. I thought it was a pretty good debut few album. A great start to the career for the band, and they has one of their best songs called uh, In Friends We Trust. <laughs> it's just a catchy song. And then 2013 or 12, they released their uh, second album called Pardon My French. And I thought that was a pretty good album. And then their previous album from 2015, Get Lost, Find Yourself, was a really great album. But it wasn't until 2016, after they played the Warp Tour that year, that they went on a hiatus for a few years. And then I heard that they were supposed to do one back in like 2020, like a reunion and thing, but set, but sadly COVID fucked it up. And then they released <laughs> out of nowhere. They dropped the first single, Gold Bitter, which we'll talk about later. And I was like, damn, they're back. back. And it just kind of sounds like just straight up Chunk No Captain Chuck. And I feel like this album, like their fourth album, first album in six years. And I'm just think it's pretty cool that they're back. Um, and it's a great follow up to Get Lost, Find Yourself. Almost kind of feels like a new start for the band. Um, one thing to note about is the production on this album. Production-wise, it's great. Um, and the vocals, like from Bert Ponce, he probably butchered his last name, but Bert's vocals, he can do some really great singing and does like the screaming. I just think the screaming and singing in combo just works really well for this band. Like having moments where heavy moments and then just softer moments with the, the screaming and singing just goes well. Uh, the guitar work is is pretty solid from uh, uh, Eric Poncier and Paul Wilson. Just the guitars and just riffs are pretty solid. Um, the bass on this album, I kind of wish was a little bit audible. I think Matthias is just playing mm, through there. Her end drumming wise, uh, Bastion does a great job uh, keeping the beat. So without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is uh, the song Bitter, which actually the first taste of the new new chunk no captain chunk that we've heard in almost six years and it just sounds like just like they haven't lost a beat at all um and and i pretty much consider this kind of like if a data remembers new albums from this is like how i feel like they should have sound like i feel like like chunk no captain chunk sort of like like replace takes over from what a data remembers sort of like younger years and they just make it their own in, in terms of like the sonically um and bitter i think is a really great me way to start things off and just to let them know that they're back and then we move on to the next song which is called drift away now drift away pretty good song i i think it's solid and then we get to uh, the title track of the album called gone are the good days it just has kind of like a weird i don't know it's hard to describe it it has kind of like a kind of like gone are the good days it has like kind of like retro vibe almost kind of dancey a little bit but i just think it's a <laughs> Which is a catchy song. And then we move on to the next song on the album, which is called Marigold. Now, Marigold kind of has some really good hooks and really great production. And I feel like this is a new sound that they're hearing from Chunk No Captain Funk. And I feel like they're going into the more catchier pop punk melodies with like like bigger, bigger crowds, bigger audience. Um, and then we get to Made For More. Now, I feel like this is one of the heaviest songs on here. It has some crushing breakdowns from start to finish, and I can't get enough of this. It's a good sound out, and I have no doubts that this song would just be a great fan favorite, and it's just something that you could listen to live. Um, moving on to True Colors, and I feel like this is pretty much where 
pun in, no pun intended, where the band's True Colors Shine High and has some really great riffs and it has sort of like goes down the whole post, pop, bleh, post hardcore territory with the I Won't Give Up kind of attitude. Good. Um, next song on the album is called Good Luck, and I think it's a really good song. Uh, and then we get to uh, Complete You. Now, this song features a guest appearance from AJ Perdomo from the, the band The Dangerous Summer. And I feel like this kind of like shows the band's sort of like creative muscles at most, balancing sort of like the new and old sounds with sort of heartfelt emotions. And it has some of the band's catchiest hooks and some really first, like you hear a saxophone solo for the first time, which there's a lot going on here. It's a <laughs> pretty interesting song. And then we speak of another interesting song. Next up is Blame It On This Song. Now, technically, this would be the first single from this album. In fact, this song was released way back in 2016 before Chunk No Captain Chunk went on hiatus. It has some really pu punchy riffs and some great, like, positivity just all around it. Um, Painkillers is up next. Now, this is pretty much the, the exciting turning point of the record that leads into sort of, like, ex obscure kind of, like, 80s electro-pop guitar riffs with sort of, like, simple pop-punk-like stance. And it's kind of reminds me a little bit of like Simple Plan a bit. And this song sort of like took me by surprise because it almost feels like kind of uncharted territory for the band. And there is something about Paint Killers that just makes you just come back for more. And there's like a monstrous breakdown of the, that last bridge that just hits you with the full force. Um, then the next song on the album is called Tongue Tied. Now this uh, song is actually the first time the band does like a duet. duet and this features uh, someone named uh, Yvette Young from a band called Covet. It, and it just, I don't know, it just feels like this song has like a lot of heartfelt emotion and lovely soothing melodies that just, 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 I don't know, just shows, it's just a good song, song, especially with young sort of like soft voice with like Bert's singing and just, I don't know, it just like those, those the voices just blend together. And then we close things out with uh, Thin, which has some really great lyrics like this is the end and I feel like the band pulls together one more time just kicking it into gear with some of the tightest riffs and sort of melodies to date. Now overall Gone Are The Good Days by Chunk Though Captain Chuck is a great comeback album from after many a few years of not releasing any music. So I have to give this album a score. I'm going to give Gone by Are The Good Days by Chunk Though Captain Chunk a solid 9 out of 10. So yep, that's a review of the album guys. Uh, let me know in the comments you guys think about the album. And I'll see you all in the next video, and as always, keep it metal.